Uh, my, my name is Tony Shinnebert. I'm with the uh, Alliance AFQ. That's the, the teachers' Dallas, union. That's the teachers' union. Yeah. They're kicking ass all over the country. Well, right now we are, especially here in Texas, uh -huh. uh, for the first time, uh, the legislature took care of business, trying to uh, make sure that they uh, did the right thing by teachers for the first time in years. But you guys didn't just sit around and wait for that. No, 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 no. The union's been working for, working on it, and working with uh, different alliances with other unions. Firefighters, uh, the uh, plumbers, CWA, all of the unions got involved down in Austin to really make a difference for teachers. Okay. What are the main obstacles in the labor movement in Texas right now? Probably the most important, I think, is just the, the label that Texas has as being a red state. Many people, because they feel oh, it's that. it's politics. Yeah, that's just politics. But uh, because of the uh, popularity of Beto and uh, the uh, success of his campaign, we turned, uh, we turned a lot of districts around. And I think people are beginning to understand that Texas is really not a red state. It's a non-voting state, but we're getting to work. We're in the process of really getting the vote out. And the teachers are really working and on that. We have a lot of different ideas. Educator to voter, uh, postcards, knocking on doors, communicating with the public, letting everybody know that teachers are very important and uh, we need everybody's support. Okay, that's Tony Sinovert of the American Federation of Teachers.